Hello everyone and welcome back to another video of our web development series and in this video we are going to look at a very important aspect of every programming language that is functions okay so let's try and learn it by an example suppose uh, this is your home okay and suppose you have a robot my drawing is not that good so just don't judge me on that okay but anyways you have a robot and here there is let's say shop okay now what you have to do you have to program this robot in such a way that it goes to this shop and brings the milk suppose you give it some commands let's say uh, exit home okay i'm not writing the commands just giving short forms maybe okay great exit home then what uh move right then what move up by and in then what move down move left okay suppose these are all the commands now what would happen the robot would uh, would go to the shop it would buy something and then it will come back again to your home and it will get the milk now suppose you have to do this like you want the milk every day so you have to write this piece of code again and again so it is a bit tiring right so for this thing there is something called functions which we have okay so what does function exactly do is inside the function what we do is we write a bunch of reusable codes okay so let's say functions are a block where we write reuse uh, re codes okay now another major thing is you might be wondering how do we call the function simple we call the function by let's say function and then we write name or we give it a name to the function okay like suppose what i used to write i used to write var a and give it something let's say hello right in a similar way what we do we write the function the same way instead of var we have to define it's a function so we write function we get a name let's say here get milk we give it a, a round brackets i'll tell you why do we that and then we put curly braces and inside these curly braces all these output or all these instructions go in okay suppose i write console dot log what we had in here it was exit home okay let's say exit home and then in the console dot log i'll say move left then i'll say move up then i'll say get milk then i'll okay let's just keep it this you can like complete it all when you have the time but okay now what i'll do how to call this function similarly i'll just say get milk and this is how i call the function okay now if i click on this run button let's see what the terminal would show exit home move left move up get milk if i remove this and if i save it nothing happened because i defined the function but i haven't put anything inside i mean i haven't called the function so how i'll call the function by just writing the function name with the round brackets and i got it again okay great now you might be wondering 
ओके एवरीथिंग इज फाइन बट वाई डू हैव दीज राउंड रैकेट सो अगेन आई एल गिव यू अनदर एग्जाम्पल बिकॉज यू अंडरस्टैंड बेट बेटर विद द एग्जाम्पल पार्ट नाउ यू हैव दिस रोबोट एंड यू वॉन्ट टू बाय मिल्क एवरी डे बट सपोज ऑन वन डे यू हैव टू बाय टू पैकेट्स ऑफ मिल्क बट अनदर डे यू वॉन्ट टू बाय थ्री पैकेट्स ऑफ मिल्क बट अनदर डे यू वॉन्ट टू बाय फोर पैकेट और वन डे यू वॉन्ट टू बाय वन पैकेट ओके सो हाउ विल यू टेल द रोबोट दिस आई मीन सपोज दिस इज द बेसिक फंक्शन आई रोड बट हेयर वेर आई कैन टेल इट राइट आई मीन यू हैव टू गो इन साइड द फंक्शन चेंज इट एवरी टाइम यू लेट से गेट मिल्क एंड वील डिफाइन द पैकेट नंबर एन पैकेट्स लेट से बट वेन एवर यू कॉल दिस थिंग यू विल ऑलवेज गेट दिस अमाउंट ऑफ पैकेट्स राइट सो हाउ टू टैकल दैट सो फॉर दैट वी हैव दीज राउंड ब्रैकेट्स इन साइड दीज राउंड ब्रैकेट्स वी गिव दैम some arguments okay suppose i write var n here and i give it a number let's say 3 it was supposed to be var n why is it not working let's see okay we can give it only n okay let's say packets so what would happen this 3 here would go into this packet and then we can use this number anywhere over here so what i'll do i'll put this i'll put this and i'll put a plus sign over here and i'll say packets and i'll put a plus sign over here okay so what would happen whatever argument i gave inside this function Three, four, five, whatever number of milks I need, I'll just give it over here. It would go into this packet, and then this packet can be used anywhere in our code. Okay, suppose it's three right now. I run it, and you can see. Okay, get milk three packets works. Let's just close it, and then suppose I write five. I save it. I have made the run. Okay, five packets. Let's put a space there over as well to get it better. Okay, six packets. Okay, you see how we pass the arguments and this thing. I can have any number of arguments as I want. I can write four, five. and suppose i give them n x okay i'll just simply console dot log let's say n plus x so what would be the output 9 should be there great works yes okay nice 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 so this was all about you know the functions and i hope you understood the importance of function because many times in your code you have to like have a bunch of reusable codes bunch of reusable lines which you want to you know insert in your code somewhere but obviously you cannot write it again and again because it would be a tiresome process and your code would look very much um cumbersome but here after this it looks nice right okay great so i guess that was all for this video and thank you for watching and see you later